Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, EJ Technofreak. So today I have got the brand new Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus Mystic Branch. So I'll be reviewing this product today and give you what you can expect from this beast of an Android tablet. So enjoy. So here it is, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus and the book cover keyboard. So as I pre-ordered mine, I got the book cover keyboard for free. But if you want to pick this up at the moment in the Samsung Australian website, it's going to cost you around $1600. So this particular model comes with 128 gigs of storage and 6 gigs of RAM and is powered by Snapdragon 865 Plus, which is best in the Android market. And at the moment of recording this video, it's the best chipset you can get in any Android tablet. I was also planning to get my hands on the all new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. But knowing that it has got the same processor that is Exynos 990 as in the S20 Ultra, which is very much inferior. It doesn't feel right paying the same amount of money and getting an inferior product. So I totally skipped that one. So in this tablet, you will be getting your SIM injection tool and some booklets. You also get a 15 watt fast charger right out of the box. But if you want to buy a 45 watt fast charger, you can buy it separately for $70. So here is the USB Type-C cable to charge your tablet. And it has got the same Mystic Branch S Pen, which feels really good in the hands. It has got that circular design rather than having a boxy design in the past of Tab S6. So it's really good to know that. But it feels really light compared to that of Apple Pencil. So let's keep everything aside and look at the tablet itself, which is the main event of this video today. Look at that color, Mystic Bronze. It looks really really good and I'm very much happy that I went with this color rather than choosing the other Mystic Silver or Mystic Black. Let me give this a little wipe down so that you can see how beautiful this color looks. The tablet looks absolutely stunning and feels really good in the hands and is very well built. It feels really light and premium because of that aluminium finish on the sides. On the bottom you will find your USB Type-C port for charging as well as data transfer and bottom firing speakers. On the side you have your power button, volume up and down button and an SD card slot which can be expanded up to 1 terabyte. On the top of the tablet you will see two more speakers which will give you that immersive feel whenever you are consuming any media. On the bottom you have that connector which you can use to connect your keyboard cover so that you can use it as a laptop. Front camera has got 8 megapixel sensor and on the back you will find your 13 megapixel camera that is main as well as 5 megapixel camera which is ultra wide. There is also a place for your S Pen where it charges wirelessly and you can also place that S Pen on the top but it doesn't charge it that way. It has got 10,090mAh battery which will be more than enough to last throughout the day. So let me turn this tablet on and show you what it can really do. So I just put all of my information in and here is the tablet. I have to say it, this Super AMOLED display looks absolutely gorgeous. With that deep blacks and vibrant colors, your media consumption is gonna look very good. And when you combine that with 120Hz refresh rate, everything is gonna look buttery smooth. Let's have a look at the front camera. And I'm very much happy to know that they have placed it in the right spot that is on the middle of the tablet rather than on the top because it will feel kind of weird whenever you are making video calls and you are looking on the side of the camera time and again. So they have placed it in the right spot. Whenever you are using the S Pen to write your notes down in the tablet, it makes that satisfying sound of writing in a piece of paper which feels like you are actually writing in a real paper rather than in a tablet. 
The latency of the S Pen itself has been dropped significantly to 9 milliseconds, which means you writing on the tablet and it showing up in the screen will be instantaneous. I'll just show you how quickly the tablet responds to my writing. And as you can see, there is no visible lag to your naked eyes. So if you want to unlock your device, you can either use the fingerprint scanner which is built into the display or you can use the face unlock which is really quick. So as you can see, as soon as I place my finger in the tablet, it unlocks and if you want to use your face id you can use that too and you don't have to do anything just swipe up and your device will be unlocked Let me play some video from YouTube to show you how good the display looks and how the speaker sounds. As I'm using my camera mic to record this content, it may not sound that good, but in person it will feel really good whenever you are consuming any media. So let me try on some heavy games like Asphalt 9 and show you the performance of the tablet itself.
you'll really enjoy playing games on this tablet with that powerful Snapdragon 865 Plus and I am not able to notice any lag on this tablet. So the games will run as smoothly as possible. Now let's have a look at the book cover keyboard which came free with this tablet. So this is a must have keyboard case if you are thinking of replacing your laptop with this particular tablet. It comes with a two piece design, one is the back cover and the other is the keyboard. Both of them will attach magnetically to your tablet so you don't have to worry about any adhesive or remains that will remain after taking out the cover. There is also a small flap on the back of the cover where you can put your S Pen away which makes it much more convenient whenever carrying this tablet on the backpack and it will make it less likely to lose. The cover also has a kickstand on the back which can be used whenever you are using your tablet as a laptop. The kickstand can also be used in different angles as per your need. To get the best out of your tablet book cover, you can use it in text mode, that is Samsung text, which makes it looks like you are using actual laptop rather than using a tablet. It has been highly optimized to favor this tablet and it works really really well. The trackpad feels really smooth and responsive and the buttons are nice and clicky which can give you feeling of using an actual laptop. The app is really well optimized to do multitasking so that you can open two or more apps at the same time and use it in a multi window same as that in the laptop. So that is all for my unboxing and the initial impression of the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. So if you want to see more videos in the future, please do hit that subscribe button, which will really encourage me to keep making these kinds of videos and help my channel grow. That's all for today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.